What's up everybody, my name is Cap, the Everyday Gamer, and today I'm going to do a short tutorial on using note blocks and redstone repeaters. Something that was requested by a few people when I did my Metallica song using the note blocks. You see it all set up behind me. I'll uh, show you some more of that in just a minute. For starters, I'll show you how to make a note block. Use some wood planks. Surround it as if you're going to make a chest and then throw one piece of redstone in there and you got a note block. Now to make a repeater, you need stone. Set it up like that, like you're going to make a stone slab. Two redstone torches on both sides and then one redstone in the middle. And voila, redstone repeater. Okay, now redstone, I'm sorry, note blocks have five different tones they can make and it's all based on what it's sitting on top of. If it's on top of wood, it makes a bass guitar sound. If it's on top of sand, it makes the snare drum. Glass gives you a kind of a clicking sound, just sounds like drumsticks hitting together. Stone gives you the bass drum and the sand, dirt kind of thing here. No, I'm sorry, not sand, but dirt, grass gives you the piano harp sound. Now each note block has a 24 range uh, notes here, three octaves, so you, every time you right click it, it changes. Now, using the redstone repeaters, I kind of show you here. Each repeater can be adjusted by right clicking it. One, two, three, and four different spaces. Each space gives you a 0.1 second delay, so the most any block can give you is 0.4 seconds. Um, from the time it receives the signal on the back end to when it sends out the signal on the front end. And like with a lot of everything else that you place in the game, it's all based on the direction you place it. So if you're facing this way and you set it down, the receiving end is going to be closest to you and the output's going to be away from you. So if you wanted to do a one second delay, you'd set up three different repeaters here. You got 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and 0.2. That gives you a full one second delay. Flip the switch. You can see how it lights it up here, and each time it lights it up, it reamplifies the signal of the redstone dust. Because if you've used it very much, you know redstone doesn't have that much of a range before it starts getting weak again. Now, one of the nicest things about the repeater is that you can have things beside it without being affected. See, if I was using just redstone torches and using something like a knot gate in this instance, when I turned off the middle path here, the outside torches would turn off as well. So this allows you to have just fluid control of what you want going on right here. And that's basically how that works and I'll show you. With my music, you see I have it set up right up here. I have just, you know, rows of about eight blocks. I think I did eight most of the time just because it was easier to count. Um, but they're all sitting on sand and they're just alternating back and forth so that they're not touching each other. And then on the other side you'll see that it's all set up the exact same way between each block. You got the music block with the redstone in between it, repeaters, to the next blow and so on. The hardest challenge was, you know, once I got them all in tune, then it was just figuring out how much of a delay needs to go between each block. So then I just go spot by spot and set up whether I needed one or two or in some places three or four. And you know, working on the timing until it sounded right. Now, if you saw the video, you saw this long string of repeaters here. And the reason why is because I wanted it to be completely automated. So when I hit the switch, it started playing all by itself from start to finish. And I didn't have to worry about having to try and flip another switch and get the timing right for the solo to kick in. So what I did was I set it up so it splits off. This way starts the course, which is just a bunch of the same repeating bridges over and over again. And then it also starts lighting these up here so that I had a nice perfect delay so that as soon as it hit the right note on there, it started this sequence and, you know, try to get the timing right. Only so much you can do with repeater blocks, of course. It's not a perfect system, but it works. So anyway, that's basically how it works. Um, there's a lot more to it than what can be done than what I'm just basically showing you here, but this is kind of the basics and the how-to. And uh, hopefully this will help you guys out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Just, you know, leave a comment below. I'd appreciate it if you'd rate the video with a big thumbs up if it helped you. And I will talk to you later.